Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a splendid pencil drawing effect in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump into Photoshop. You can see an example on screen of the effect that we're trying to create. So here's the pencil effect. And then I've masked that and we're bringing through the original photo underneath to create a combination. So. We're going to jump into a separate document. Here's my photo. First things first, I'm going to cut this out onto a transparent background. This is entirely optional. You don't have to do this, but if you do this, your pencil effect will be much more defined around your subject and you won't get any grays coming through from your background. So I'm gonna do this really quickly. If you'd like to check out some videos on how to properly cut out subjects from a background, I'll link them in the description below. I'm going to do this really quickly just for this tutorial. So I'm going to right click the background layer, select duplicate layer and click OK and we'll hide that one there and just create a new layer from the bottom of the layers panel, drag this underneath, double click the text and call this background. And we can go and just fill this using the paint bucket tool and yep, a really bright yellow is fantastic. This just helps us see how well we've cut our subject out. So I've filled this layer with yellow and I'm going to double click this name, this name, this layer and call it subject. So we've got that subject layer and then I'm going to do this really quickly with the quick selection tool. So it's definitely worth checking out the videos linked in the description and taking your time with this, but I'm just going to quickly speed through this and just select the background. It's all one color, so it's a pretty straightforward cutout. And with that selection made, I'm going to hit delete or backspace and you can see our yellow background showing through. So obviously you've got a few little details like this. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be fine for what we're using it for. So I'm now going to select this background. I don't need it to be yellow anymore. So from the color picker, I'm just going to go to the top left, which is white and use that paint bucket tool. And with the yellow background layer selected, just click anywhere on the artboard and then lock this layer so we don't select that background by mistake. So we have our subject cut out, Woo, fantastic. Now what we're going to do is right click this layer and select duplicate layer and click OK again. And we're going to press Command or Control I. We can also go somewhere and invert the image. So if we go to image adjustments and then invert, remember that's Command or Control I. It will look absolutely awful, but that's okay because we can change the blending mode from normal to color dodge. Well, it doesn't really look any better, but wait, hang on, it's okay. We're going to add a adjustment layer from the bottom of the layers panel. So you can click this symbol here and select hue saturation. And if you bring the saturation slider all the way to the left, it will desaturate all of these layers underneath this adjustment layer. So you can see it takes out that color. And if we go back to our subject copy layer, this is the one that looks quite terrible. We can now go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. And if I just drag this out of the way, this is where we're going to be adjusting our pencil effect. So you can adjust the radius till, until you get the desired pencil effect. Now, if we bring it up too high, it looks quite cool. I do like that, but it still looks like a photo. So we want to keep this nice and low and go for those more uh, pencil drawing type effects. So a lot more linear with less uh, kind of, you know, skin tones and things coming through. So we'll go for something like this and click OK. And then what we can also do above our hue and saturation adjustment layer, we can click the adjustment icon at the bottom and select levels. And this will bring up the levels dialog box and we can drag the shadows to the left and this will increase the darkness of any kind of uh, shadows or darker colors. We can adjust the midtones, So that's the colors uh, in the middle. So sort of medium grays and things and the highlights. If we increase the highlights too much, we do lose a lot of definition on the face. So let's just stick with this. So it depends whether you want something really kind of harsh like this or a bit softer. But once you're happy, we'll just close that down. 
and we can now hold shift and select all of these layers and click the group icon or that's command or control G and it will group these together and we can double click on the group and call this pencil effect and we can turn this on and off so we still have our subject on a separate layer and we can select the pencil effect group and add a layer mask from the bottom of the layers panel and we can then select Photoshop's brush tool and let's pick one of Photoshop's nice feathered default brushes I say that far too often and we'll just bring the size down using the slider here make sure that hardness is set to zero so it's nice and soft and just make sure black all the way to the bottom left is your foreground color and with the pencil effect mask selected we can decrease or increase the size of our brush using the left and right square brackets on the keyboard and I'm just going to sync simply left click and brush down the face and I love this because it just brings in some of that detail around the eye nose and the mouth she does have another eye but it's on the other side obviously and we're leaving all of that hair or most of the hair with the pencil effect so there's lots of ways you can do this I'm just gently brushing in if you'd like to grab one of these Wacom tablets they are linked in the description and they are awesome for retouching stuff like this now we can press X on the keyboard to swap our black and white colors and we could paint that out press X again and now I'm gonna brush in through the hair so it depends which part of the image that you would like to kind of keep that pencil effect and you can have it really soft really subtle as well and it's just a case of blending together the pencil effect layer and the subject layer however you like and there we go that is how to create a splendid pencil drawing effect in Adobe Photoshop as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time